everyone. Thanks so much for joining me at my channel, Vital Healing. I'm Dr. Candida Schwartz. I'm a naturopathic doctor as well as an intuitive healer. So today when I'm filming, I didn't really expect to be doing this today, but February is about the heart. And I wanted to talk about topics that are so personal and so gut-wrenchingly painful for our hearts. I wanted to talk about having miscarriages. I wanted to talk about infertility. I wanted to talk about the loss of a child. So if you've watched my channel or if you just know me, you know that I have lost four babies. In the last five years, I lost, uh, I lost four babies. The second two were second trimester. Um, after the last one, 11 days later, I lost my mom. So there's going to be also another video um, supporting grief and losing a mom or losing a loved one in the coming weeks. But today I think about being in the hospital in excruciating pain at 17 weeks, knowing that my baby was very sick and that my baby didn't want to let go. And it was so it was three years ago today, uh, February 16th, the third baby that I lost at 12 weeks, that baby's due date was February 14th. So in a year's time, I was pregnant with two babies. But in that same year's time, I had three miscarriages, um, three D and E's or D and C's, because um, after mom died, the last um, miscarriage that I had, the last procedure, the last surgery I had, they left placental tissue in it, in my body and my uterus. So um, I was experiencing more pain. My body still thought I was pregnant. So. Um, yeah, it was, it was really tough. So in a year's time, I lost two babies. I had three surgeries and, um, yeah, yeah, I was, I was pregnant. I had no babies, no babies. Um, what, one thing that you don't know about is, is that I got, I got married, got pregnant immediately. I lost the first baby five and a half weeks later. I got pregnant two weeks later. I lost the second baby six and a half weeks. And then there was, there was two and a half years of nothing. I just couldn't get pregnant. I did everything. I had that. I was desperate. I was, uh, I had all of those feelings that women with fertility problems, I, I experienced them all, that desperation, the connection that, you know, my husband and I were, you know, trying to, you know, create a baby, like it all became kind of a routine. It kind of became stressful. It kind of became uh, heart-wrenching, you know, then getting my period was heart-wrenching every month getting my period. And now as I approach my 49th birthday and my hormones, I skip months, my hormones go kind of crazy. I've gone, you know, I skip months. I skip a, I've skipped a couple of months in the past. Um, last year, I think I skipped six months at one point. Um, and then my period came back. Um, you know, it's, it's so complicated because now not getting my period is another level of grief around my fertility and loss and question marks and guilt and regret and fear and just utter heartbreak. And I find that when I can tell you about me and I can tell you about what what I've undergone and I can talk a little bit about different people that come to me with these similar similar griefs and similar experiences and I'm and I will be doing a video on how to boost your fertility um you know like more of a naturopathic talk um and I will be doing that soon but today I just really wanted to kind of talk about how my ex like what my personal experience was you know I am an I am an empath I am a healer I've talked about a lot about that in this channel and I really strongly feel that we have to go through that pain those excruciating pains so then we have something to offer well I feel like in the last few years all I've done is offer 
I found that in my meditations, all I was doing was thinking about different jewelry to make or uh, different patients that needed support or uh, different videos that I could offer, um, what I could be talking about with my moon meditations, what I, you know, I was, I was constantly distracting myself from going, it was like I was extracting, I was going out instead of coming in. And just now I did a long meditation after a bunch of self-care. Today I decided I was going to do a bunch of self-care before I, you know, before I start working in an hour or so. And I kept coming back to, no, you have to do, you have to go in. You have to stop trying to help others. And it's, you know, it's like healer, heal thyself. Doctor, heal thyself. Person, human, spirit, woman, heal yourself. Do the soul work. And as I called in every single baby spirit, I was able to throw some cards and I was able to understand why that experience had to come through. And of course, a lot of regret comes up. I mean, why couldn't I have listened then? Why couldn't I have taken the time then? Why couldn't I be five years younger and know now what I knew then when my eggs were healthier or younger or whatever? But the fact of the matter is, is that I don't know for a fact that my eggs were healthier five or six years ago or even 10 years ago because I've struggled with these themes of boundaries and making time for myself and not being a people pleaser and not being, you know, not being everything to everybody else in order to be validated as a person, as somebody that's lovable or loved. I've been struggling with this since I was a small child. So for those of you that are out there that are struggling, that stumbled upon this video, I really urge you to do some soul work around it. Don't worry about having the baby. Babies come when babies come. They come how they come, when they come. And the bigger message is to do the soul searching. This is a soul, this is a message whenever your heart is broken, whenever you've endured a, tra a trauma or a pain or a struggle. Do the soul work. Do the soul work and do some self-care. Do the self-care. Make that time for yourself. Yes, go to the fertility doctors. Yes, go to your doctors. Yes, get acupuncture. Yes, take the right supplements. Yes, do what feels right. Follow your heart. But before you ask your heart to guide you, to help you communicate with the baby spirits, do the internal work first. That's all I've got. I mean... If you come to me and I give you a reading or I help you with fertility or miscarriages or whatever, any kind of trauma or pain, it'll be a different, it'll be a, a different conversation. But at the end of the day, this is the message. This is what my heart wants to share with you all. If I'm going to satisfy this empath part of me, this healer part of me, to make all of my pain and trauma not be for, not in vain, that I can have something to offer, Something's lighter in me now that I haven't felt in a long time, if ever. So I encourage you to take some time every day to do the internal work. See where it guides you. Ask for support from your earthly angels as well as your cosmic angels, your God, your spirit. Ask for help from the earth. But ask for help from your own soul, from your own body, right down to those tiny cells, right down to your DNA, right down to your ovaries. And I'm going to talk more about this in the coming months. So stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, and share with anybody that might that this might be a message that might give them a little comfort. My heart is with you, and I will see you next time.